So what a fantastic series to get to end this first day of the Road to the International Playoffs with. Azure Ray up Prepare against now. As soon as that Spectre's got this jump ready, Dyer's could definitely like to see a move happen. Somnus is getting closer and closer to 6 too. They're going to try for the setup here, Lelis. Gunners hit 6 first. Somnus. Oh, by the, the Ancient Seal here. Backup coming in from Yamsen on the side. They've turned with the Boundless Strike. Got taking him down. Nicely done. Now they bring the two supports. You get that very late on. Five minutes in first blood for Gunner. And he's doing yeah, very different build than what we've seen. Collapse, we even saw him do earlier the same build of the Meteor Hammer. Mu going a different route. Yeah, they'll group up and go for him. Somnus comes in with a rotation. They want to go for Mu. Oh. And in the meantime, they denied a rune. Yamsun actually with the Hellbear Smash was able to get that one away too. And Gunner's getting active. He is, he's turning himself here into to a dire range creeper. Looking to try and surprise this top lane. I love Chalice. when we see this from the Monkey Kings. It's just an unexpected gank. I mean, Chalice is about to creep away from having the XP for level six. Oh, it's no perfect. No available at the moment. They're gonna full commit here pretty much. Backup comes in from FY, lays down the rebels. They're looking to turn, they're looking to burst. Too many numbers. Oh, they turn on the Gunner, take him down. They might even get more level sixes in. Stop me to the ready. Very well ready for that move. Looks perfect at first when Gunner's coming in. Centaur not quite six. Big strike back, four to one now. Mid tower still was brought down very early on. FY, perhaps in some trouble. Looks like he's getting trapped by a little, a little tree ganking him. Tries the neutral deny. Not quite able to aggro them inside. Here's the way of Lettuce. Gunner and Lettuce, that looks clean up that stack as well. Top lane. K1 is jungle. He is really struggling, and they're putting so much pressure onto him. They have to get the connection perfectly with the Ravage and Skyrath Mystic Flare. That's their only real early setup, unless the Monkey King is there to have it. I mean, if they get the opening onto low, this should be a pretty clean kill. Monkey King is also there, so he is sneaking around as that range creep right now, so see if they can find the angle onto him. The blink is about to be finished up onto Chalice as well, too, so this is a pretty prime time for Announcer Strike if they can 100 to 0 him. Well, that's going to show on the tower. TPC is going to start to come in. They look to burst through the Spectre immediately with the setup of the Ravage into the Mystic Flares. That beats Paul. Still alive. There. They didn't have the uh -oh. damage. Lowe's perfectly fine. He was ready to turn. The dagger across. They brought down Gunner. They'll take down Moe as well underneath the tower. He lives. Lowe survives. Yamsen also to fall here. Selfless catching him with the stun. Azure. They put a complete stop to these M there from now. They attempt to throw everything down onto Lowe. They didn't do the mass fog, it wasn't enough it damage. You know, From Moon in particular, he's got to be there, he's got to survive on the front, he's got to hold these towers and stop Azure from getting any early objectives. He is tanking up, he does almost have a heart finish, but Centaur has his finished. And the thing is, he is going to be playing versus the Desolate, of course, as the game does go on, the more levels that gets put into that for the Spectre. Straight in here with a jump, they'll go immediately on top of Lelis. And with the Sampede, they'll look to see if they can chase down K1 as well. Doppelganger's there, and TP's coming into Tier 2. They won't be able to stay on top of the PL. That's a quick kill. Calling off the Wisdom Rune. Oh, is he going to be able to deny it again? Oh! Oh! There, yeah, oh. Yeah. Wait, he got it and it got denied. Wait, what? Wait, what? What? <laughs> what? Uh, same frame, same frame. Anyway, moving on. Uh, <laughs> anyway, they found this. They're going to try and go for the move. They're with the Stampede. Look with his. Is he dead? He's gone. He's gone. Damage is done. They'll try and turn over towards Somnus. He just walks out. He's perfectly fine. Pretty much still full HP here on the left track. And the thing is, too, is sometimes in these games, when the game does slow down a lot, we'll wait for a second is oh, a quick, easy kill. Easy one. Doesn't get the last touch on it, though. Tian Ming, the one to take that. There is no right back anymore. Then the hunt here. Where does boat underneath the tower? Chalice, he's ready to set up. The boundless strike, the dead shot, and the double edge. The leads Yamsen up. Azure, they can get the push onto the tier 2 tower now. And maybe even more around this Aegis on Chalice. Chalice having a flawless game so far. Top of the net worth, 407 has his shard now with his heart. He is a menace. It's pretty crazy. I mean, out farming his own Spectre with his good rate timing on a Radiance. That's. Yeah. That was a long time ago. A long time. 20 minutes ago, and those last 20 minutes have been pretty painful for now. Another target spotted. They're on to Gunner. Not a chance. Deleted in second. Another kill for low. More money for the Spectre. 4 0 10. He hasn't even gotten another neutral item. He's still using Seeds of Serenity. They're right now staring at one. one. Hello? Oh, yeah. I mean, they've got him. Goodbye. Caught outside of the base. Still no Manta. I don't know what's going on there. Maybe hands off the keyboard. Uh, but that's indeed a tip. Yeah, Tian Ming was just eyeing him up, and K1 was not prepared at all for that. They're into the base. The tier 3 tower Oof. in a lot of trouble. And maybe now there's a hole in this game one. Maybe back to the drawing board a little bit with what they're up against. 
probably talking about in the next game. I think so. And at the least, you know, as, as you were saying, and as the panel was saying, right, a lot of stuff from the draft of Nows did seem a little bit sort of outside of the box. So definitely things that they can maybe go back to what they were doing in the root state. Is he even going to finish the Manta? I'd imagine he is. So Manta PL plus Radiance on Gunner. This is, I mean, they have to try to make something. Otherwise, it feels like you're going to just lose. But K1, they got to find a fight. Or try for Trying to turn this around here. They're bringing in the numbers, but already jumping on towards Yamsen. Yamsen's gone. And Lowe's going to turn over towards K1. They're trying to bring down Chalice. They'll drop the Ravager your pot him. They can't kill him. He's having to run. K1 will get out of the fight. Chalice being fully focused, but he's still got so much HP to play with. They can't finish him. He's where he's walking back into the Wukongs. He doesn't care at all. F1 is killing Gunner. Two dead on now. The dead shot as well. Putting no the way. TP out. You cannot escape this Azure Ray. As Moo is surrounded by the squad, a third kill's found. Nouns get nothing. It's what they probably feel like they have to do, because this game, it's been feeling like this for a long time. It feels very over. They just do not have the damage. They do not have the farm. Everyone's too big. Chalice, he actually tanked the entire anchor. He didn't turn and kill the anchor. He stood in the anchor. They couldn't bring him down. No, he didn't care. Did not he care He started whatsoever. to walk away, and then he was like, you know what, I don't Wait even to walk away. I'm walking back in. Yeah. He turns the anchor against them. Another Rax to drop. All heroes on his your full HP. And another catch. And they're ready to go in for more. Jump forward. On to the Jamson. Woo! 22 to 2. 24k lead here. 29 minutes in. It's going to be Mega Creeps at the least here. Up against Nouns. They don't have the Ravage. I mean, the Mega Creeps are out. And nothing, nothing to be done here by Nouns. Somnus. He's just in. He's ready to get aggressive. Just jump straight back in on them. He's got the BKB ready if necessary. Off in the Bloodstone, and now the BKB's out. Gonna lay down the Wukong's command low. He's just straight in on top of him. They jump forward over towards Gunner. They've glimmered him up. So Gunner surviving a little bit longer, but still the Radiant's burning down. He'll still fall. Gunner's out of the game. No buyback on him. Yamsen's a fall yet again, as this game should soon and shortly be over. The buyback will come out from Yamsen, but let's see, there's no buyback for Gunner. The Gleipnir's out there from everyone. Catching the two, the Mystic Flare coming out return, but he just doesn't do any damage at all. As they'll lose Yamsen again. Four dead. Game's over. GG is called. Ooh, back to the drawing board. Absolutely. Yeah. In a very little sense, the draft, it did not work out here for now. From the laning stage onwards, nothing really outside of that first blood went their way, Bob. No. Over and over. I mean, this hero is so obnoxious to play against into the late game. And there's that puck. Does exactly what you guys are describing. Jumping the back lines. How hard... Is it pronounced to play that game that you're describing right now, Lacoste? I'd say very difficult. This is definitely not an easy lane for the Spirit Breaker. No, absolutely. I mean, definite kill potential from Azure Ace Duo. Got him! Samson. Just able to keep himself alive there with the ticks of the Leech Seed. I mean, Mu as well, too, might just die top. Like, this is just incredibly aggressive. It is indeed your first blood this time. This game, too, coming out nice and early here for Azure Ray. One minute in low. He's the one to claim it. Yeah, the power of the CK. You just never can really keep this hero low. He's always just full HP in the laning phase. He's got a great combo bottom. They go next. Jamsen in with the damage. Snowball as well. Massive. Both side lanes here for Azure Ray. Getting kills early on. Built in life steal. And they've got so many ways to turn. So they much. Save with the snowball. Yep. Bottom lane. They'll look for K1. They've got the silence out here. Tian Ming joins forces with the other two of them to go and take down the void. Let's see if they can get more. Gunner in response. Able to blast FY. Can he get more? Is it going to be good enough for now, though? We'll see. We'll see, because as you're, they're not going great. Not by any means. They're looking for full aggression. So they're set up for Chalice. Do they need to or want to drop the Chrono for this one? TPs are going to be coming in. K1, he doesn't want to commit here, as he will jump back. And in fact, sorry, he was all still on the last in. move. See if they can get away with this under the tower. They can. Nice. nice kill to be found there under the tier one. They'll get away with that. He does get brought down finally from the first move there from the puck. We'll see again here. Oh, is that what it was? Oh, I was going to... Alrighty. I was wondering why it was that, down. That's where the chrono went. Uh, Alrighty. Alright. Well, he's going to have it back up soon. Ten seconds, we'll see K1 have that one ready again. Yeah, because you're like, he's going to hit my chrono. I'm like, like, yeah, he might. Yeah. Wait, why doesn't he have it? Well, at least we found out. Thank you very much, production. Yep. K1. Can he turn? I don't think he's killing anyone here. One second start. He's silenced. I mean, that was a situation maybe where you just have to chrono and run. Overgross out as well. They, the Man. Solo Guardian's there. They're not even getting FY. FY's perfectly fine. Moose going to charge across. He might get Tianmeng with the ultimate. He does. So they're taking out one of the supports here of Azure, eh? Gunner 
Has to be careful. Coiled back up from Somnus. I mean, on the side, Azure Raider managed to wrap around and catch Lelis. Maybe the two of them can try for Chalice. They've got the time dilation out on him. They've got this shoot from Gunner. Should be a kill. I mean, he'll have the chance to pull himself away with a hammer in a second. Now, continue to run him down, charges they back up. Yeah, then. It will be a slow, painful death here for Chalice, but a surefire one. And indeed, they will take him out, move the one to get the kill. That will help him towards the Midas. He's got his own one done now. It's going to be sent out right now. Chalice spends his gold, though. Spent pretty much every single bit of it there. Almost had the blade mail finished up, so he's not too worried about it. Mid. In the meantime, it did take them some time to chase Chalice how far he was. They're actually going to get a mid tower out of that all, too. Yeah, they don't mind dropping an ultimate for that one at all. It's now bottom. Got eyes on Chalice. Should have a solid chance of taking him out again, especially with a good few bashes. Moon knocks him back with the ultimate. Chalice tries to pull himself away. Backup is coming in. He's alive. And it's going to be in time indeed for them to hold back. They won't chase any further for Chalice. They respect the fact that Azure Ray are bringing in the numbers. Somnus, he's going to be able to catch Amson in the trees. Everyone else will make it out. That's why I finished him off with the shards. So they don't get Chalice, but again, able to retreat with the majority of them. They've got eyes on Kaelin as well. Tian Ming and Somnus on the hunt. They've hit him with the scan. They know he's up here in this camp. They've got Solar Guardian as well. Jump. In with the silence. In with the burst. K1's gone. Nothing to be done to save him. Yeah, they won't try and set up onto him. Right. Or will they? f going to go for this, but Gunner's ready to back Moo up. Have they got enough damage to bring the spread break down? The fear comes out. Moo, he's still alive. The nukes there as well. Somnus will manage to jump forward though and pick him off on the back line. So they'll take him down. They'll get two big kills though. both supports for that Radiant. one. Radiant are scanning. And Azure Ray, they're going to know that. So you can definitely imagine that once that next item or so is done, they're gonna Azure Ray, they'll smoke up. up and go. Yeah, they're going to keep picking it up and they now have Blink on the Tusk. It looks like he's probably going to get brought down here from Gunner. Same time, top lane. Up top, K1. Looking for him, but the time walks there in time. Low one managed to pull him back. Now he's just making the move. The charge is coming through. Low, mid far forward. forward. Setting up with the slow. K1 has got the chrono if necessary. Oh, nice Overbroke there from Yabson. K1 no messing around. He'll drop the chrono onto the two of them, and they'll bring down Tianming and Low. Beautiful play. We'll see the win probability as well, giving them a sizable chance here against Azure Ray. At a moment that I believe probably 19 minutes since that last game, it's probably around the 10%, maybe even lower. Maybe even lower, yeah. Chronosphere still on cooldown. No. FY with the opening, and Chalice in with the damage. There's the stack. They're making moves up here. Nouns has four heroes Nounce, shifting here. They can fight this. There's no. It's gonna go out for Tiaming over to the side. Silence comes out, so the Guardians there ready for the turnaround. They catch the stun over towards Moo, they'll turn, they'll punish the breaker. Oh, maybe getting a little bit too aggressive there versus the Grim Stroke with the Shard. Maybe even able to find more as well. They get the Silence in onto Lelith, they drag him back with a Rift. A couple of them taken down quickly and cleanly. They look for action now. And their Chrono is now on cooldown. Everything is on cooldown. Hey, Amson. He's a get jumped here, another Deso snap for Chalice. Scaling and scaling and scaling. Under attack. Up top, Low is just playing on his own. Can they look to punish this? He's got 30 seconds left on the Aegis. Perhaps they, this is where they can go. They could try. Same time, though, K1. Oh no, K1. Just jump down bottom, Somnus. Deleted. The coil. K1's out. You All right, just kidding. Now they cannot make that move up top. Low is actually going to make his move back into himself. And active, look at this, immediately top. I think they saw Moo for a quick second up here. They're instantly looking for the setup onto him. Go with the Dream Coil. E-Blade's gonna be thrown out here in an attempt to keep him safe for the right clicks of Chalice. Isn't it enough to buy time? No. Even a bash coming in on that last hit from Chalice. Moo taken out again. They see the Grim. Who's in? Oh, come here with a BKB trying to take Tian Ming down. They'll get him. Okay. K1. Low. For the jump. Low is gonna turn over towards Moo. Bash comes out with a charge buy from Moo. Bash is here from K1. Is he focusing down the CKL? Pop the Chrono. Does he have the damage? He does no He's damage. He's nowhere close. The Solo Guardian's out. K1 has to back off. And now, now, they're on the retreat. Somnus in with the chase down. Jumps forward, looks towards finding Lelis in the tree line. Gunner's able to BKB TP out. He'll get away. Oh, and he tickled him. Not level, not level 20 yet on the Void, but even if he has attack even speed, if he was. the damage. I mean, he does a Vindicator's Axe. <laughs> Who knows? I mean, 20 on Void has been hit, but as we're seeing, yeah, he's still just so far behind. He needs another item. And he doesn't have... The thing is, too, is he doesn't have an enabler. He doesn't have a buff Moo. for the Void. It's Moo again. It's been found. They keep finding him. The BKB off, but it doesn't do anything for him there. 
smoked up. They're ready for the jump into the base. FY's ready to kick and people out. Yes, if he gets his eyes on Gunner, he may just go for it. Gunner, keep his distance away from the outskirts of the base, making sure that that sort of jump play cannot occur. They could potentially get the double jump too, right? They can get the blink coil into the kick, so immediately stunning them as they get kicked out. Now it has to be very careful how much they step up. They can't even de-ward this op toward it. They know it's there, but they can't step up toward it. 20 seconds till Chrono, but well, as we've seen, that hasn't really mattered the last few times. Trying to slow him down. The punch, the kick. They found the void. K1, put it outside the base. Let's see what he does to get out of this one. He's going to mantle. BKB. And it might still get in the bash. Is there. He'll drop oh, no. Chrono. He's caught by the Soulbind. They're jumping in, oh, he's in. He's in, he's in with the stun, he's caught the two, and the K1 will manage to time walk out in time. So now they're able to save the boy. They've used all three BKBs on now already though. Four BKBs just to reset, not to get any kill. Hello, get back on with the push onto the tier three down bottom now. Move. A bit of damage. Oh. Ever, they just turn straight towards with the star break. Kaboo's gone in an instant. My lord, the damage. Get the fear, fear out. So solid one on the two of them. Gives them a chance to take down FY. Something to be found. Moon knocking back Chalice. Careful, Moo. He did buy back for this one. They've got the silence upon him. Chalice and low. They're chasing Moo down. See another buyback from this time coming out from Azure with FY. Ray, they turn. They take a Moo out a second time. He's out for nine. Gunner's son. The base they go. Ken was able to remove the silence in time. Gunner will be able to blast back low. He's in the space to reset and survive, but now just to get the four of them against the five of Azure Ray and still the Sages on low. They can't get it off of him. They don't have the damage. They keep just dispel healing him. They just can't push them off the barracks. And they have nothing. They use their Chrono, they use their BKBs. K1's like, I have no purpose in being there. I'm gonna go hit some creeps, guys. Good luck. The bottom racks. Oh, they might just keep going. Uh, they, they know everything's been used. Yeah, they, they don't need to back off. Doesn't matter that they don't have their ults here, Azure. They're across the board with the lead that they have. I mean, they have full items being delivered. A full Satanic's coming out from Chalice, and I think a full they other. Go again. Full Octarine also for the puck. They're looking to stick around. 90 seconds on Aegis. How long on Chrono? 30 seconds. The BKBs are coming back up for nouns, but they need absolutely everything. We'll see if they have one more fight in them nouns. 25k lead hit at 37 minutes in. Able to last a little longer than game one nouns, but still not a fun spot for them to be here. Being here in this game too. They can't get low, low at all. <laughs> he just continues to be like full HP. Continues the siege. K1's getting back. Moves respawning. This is the last hurrah. Can they even push them back a little bit? They're in with the charge. Move. Trying to start something, but already Thomas he just dancing around behind them. K1 will get the chrono drop down. It is onto Chalice. They're fully focusing Chalice. They've got the E-Blade. He's going to be able to protect the Chalice. He's alive. Finally, they'll finish it with the Illuminate. They'll turn over towards FY. They've got him caught the Brown Boy. He's got the Snowball turning over towards K1. K1 trying to back away, but he's caught by the Soulbind. Time walks back up and Getting out. Live. FY dies. Taking out the two of them. Low, he's still hitting the barracks. He just wants to get the job done, and he'll find it. Under kills another. Barracks. I mean, his team's died, but Low, he doesn't care. He's looking for objectives. They've lost three, but the Hits on, they're still alive, they jump back K1. onto K1, the E-Blade there to protect the back to the time walk, he's gonna leave, he survives! The vibes. They take a low out the once. See if they can go for a round two. Link out there, moves in on top of him with the charge, Hamson setting up as well, they've got the control, do they have the damage? Low turning, Somnus jumps in with the orb, cross towards Moon. Looking for Yamsen on the back line, for Yamsen staying hidden in the trees. It's a two versus five. Well, two versus four right now. K1's coming. Chase. He blades there as well. Charge forward. Yamsen, he's slowly dying. Will fall. They've got the knock back here with the ultimate. Surrounded completely. They bring low down. It's a defense. It's a hold from now. They have to find Chalice. I still think he still seems to be the biggest problem. Kill him at least the once, but he should have buyback hey, soon. Chalice gets caught. I mean, he's going to get caught in the corner immediately. No buyback on him. And they're taking about two minutes. He's 200 short. Caught on the front lines there, nice. and immediate reactions from K1. No hesitation, dropping down that chrono. Absolutely worth it. Every Absolutely. single time you find this Stormbreaker, you're dropping the chrono immediately. Yeah, a perfect catch. And yeah, he's 200 goals for buyback, so pretty ideal that they do get that setup onto him. Somnus, sees Yamsen. I should get him. Oh yeah, definitely. Blade Burst is there, godlike still for Somnus. They'll be able to take the Tormentor on top of it.
there's still absolutely a chance for Nouns to turn this. Just have to get pretty good, pretty damn good chronos though. They have to still be able to protect Gunner. Because Gunner, he actually is short of the buyback. They're going all in here now. To make sure they can have everything possible to hold here on the, the kick defense. out. The kickback's there. K1. They're in with the start. The start ring hits comes in as well. He's gone. And with the money spent, no buyback as mentioned. We'll see Mu try and recover things as he charges across. Will make it short down FY. Buyback comes out from Janssen immediately. Move with the BKP as he heads away as low. Tends to chase down the Spirit Breaker. So if they're able to get the pullback, the BKP comes to an end. Low drags it back, but the e is there. He's gonna try to save Mu to bail him out of this. Gonna, he's able to get back to base. Mu, can he get away? He cannot. Low drags it back, finishes him off. A buyback to come out from Mu. Charge forward. Sawman in position, thrown down onto Low. Another yeah, kick. Another kick back. Gets Mu out of the fountain, back into the reaches of Low and Jian Ming. As Mu silenced, taken out. And without these two cores, no buybacks on them. The space will be there for Azure to move onto the tier fours. Softness again in. Another kick back. He's not, not going to find it this time. Just get caught by the roof. So if they got the damage with the E plate, they have. And take out of FY. Below is ending this. It's getting focused. Gun is caught outside of the base. He has buyback. He's gonna try and nuke them down here with the Illuminate, but the creeps are onto the Ancient. Low continues to try and close it. Another kill from Gunner, but Chalice, the buyback's there. Solar Guardian straight into the heart of Now, straight to their fountain, swings it with the hammer. They're all going down. Now just left to Lelis on his own here. The last one with buyback. They have a full farming. He's got a fear. They're trying their best now, but it's not good enough. As Azure Ray onto the Ancient, GG is called. Azure Ray take this series two to zero. Damn. Pretty convincing too. This majority of this game they had absolutely in the bag. They're looking so confident and honestly I'm loving the way that they're playing. All three cores are having amazing games every time. That's what it's feeling like so far here. Somnus, I mean we talk so much about Chalice and about Low, but Somnus ends up 13-0 and I mean, 17. Ooh, he had quite the series, not just quite the game the alone. Series. Somnus on his mid performances. He, he just knows what to play, they know what to pick him. You get him on the good stuff, he doesn't mess up. He delivers to 100% hitbox. Yeah, and all it takes is one slip up there too. Nouns making slow by small, these tiny little recoveries in the game.